Okay, I'm getting ready to start a big project down in my basement. <clears throat> I've uh, got this last section of drywall here that I need to finish up and uh, get the electrical uh, installed and the plates on. And then I need to come around all the way around this little room and install some trim. And then along this back wall, I want to um, do kind of an Ikea hack where I have some floating um, cabinets and then above that a shiplap wall that extends out from the back of the wall and then I'll have a uh, like an entertainment center but uh, I'm gonna start on that today so let's get to it Okay, I've got everything cleared out of this back room here and I'm gonna try to set up some kind of a portable filtration system I've seen a lot of people use these box fans with a filter on the back so we'll see how that works when I start sanding the drywall okay I didn't get any of this on video but I wanted to just pass on a couple of tricks that make doing drywall a lot easier. And the first thing is adding water to your mud until it has the consistency of uh, cake frosting. That makes a big difference. The first coat of uh, mud that I put on, I just went across all of the seams and then I uh, put some tape over the seams and then I gave another coat of mud and that uh, took this three quart bucket of mud down by about 25 percent and then I added just under a cup of water um, to the rest and then I just mixed it up until it had a nice uh, frosting consistency and then uh, you want to use a nice wide blade for um, applying the mud over you know your uh, your taped seams and I didn't have a nice wide bucket um, to scrape the mud from so what I did was I used this uh, smaller blade and I just would scoop out I would scoop out uh, the mud and then I would just uh, I would apply it onto my larger blade and then I would take that blade and uh, apply it over the seams and it worked out really nice nice wide um, application and uh, after doing that there's very little sanding that needs to be done on that final skim coat and then i just uh, got some of this uh, wall texture orange peel and uh, this one has a, a little dial on the back that you can adjust to get you know the type of uh, texture that you want and then I just practice on an old box or something until I uh, I'm happy with um, you know with the consistency of the texture. And then I just apply that on the wall, and uh, well, I'll give it a primer coat first, then apply the texture over that, and then uh, apply the final paint. Okay, I got uh, all the drywall done and textured and painted, and I also got all of my trim installed. So now what I need to do is uh, mark out what I'm gonna do on this back wall. Uh, so let me get my measuring tape out and uh, let's get to that piece. Okay, so I wanna come up about uh, five inches from the top of this trim. And then I know that my uh, cabinets, and uh, my floating cabinets are gonna be about 18 inches. So that's gonna bring me up to 23 inches above the trim the trim is four inches so uh, off the ground uh, that's going to put me at about 27 inches to the bottom or to the top of uh, of the cabinets and then i'll put another uh, three quarter inch um, countertop across that so it's going to put it at just under uh, 28 inches 
So I'm going to go ahead and mark up uh, my center point and uh, get my lines drawn. Okay, what I like to do when I'm trying to get something level, and I know that the floors are uh, uneven. This is a basement floor, so I know that it's uneven. I like to tack up my reference board in one place and then I can move it up or down until I can get it level. So I know here I need to move it down a little bit. So that's dead on. So I'll leave it there and then I'll, I'll finish tacking this up. Okay, I found my studs and I marked them and then I installed uh, these slats um, or furring strips, I guess. They're two by two though. I installed those um, right in line with the wall studs. And the way that I did that was I took my center stud here because um, I knew exactly where that was. It was, you know, between, right between uh, these boxes. And I set the top screw and then I moved it sideways until I could get it plumb. And then I leveled off of each, each one as I went down. I just leveled off of that and then did the same thing to get it plumb by attaching the top screw and then just sliding it back and forth until it was plumb. So that's what I'm going to be uh, attaching the shiplap to in order to make the shadow wall above the, um, the hanging cabinets there. The cabinets aren't in yet. Um, they won't be here for another three days and I want to hang those first um, before I put the shiplap on because uh, I don't want to have to work around that. And I've got that uh, bottom rail right there. I'm going to kind of just use that to set the uh, floating cabinets on. So kind of an extra hand um, just while I get them on installed on the wall and level. So that's where we are right now. Um, not going to be doing anything until I receive uh, the cabinets. Those should be here in a couple of days. Um, for me, but for you, it'll be a couple of minutes. So I'll wait for those and then we'll get back to it. Okay, I got these cabinets in yesterday. And um, these were a lot cheaper than the ones at Ikea, but you know, I'm looking at these things and I'm not sure that they're much better than the ones at Ikea. I mean, they do have a solid wood face frame and, and at least the frame of the doors is solid. I think this is just plywood, really thin plywood. And the rest of it's just fiberboard. All the entire carcass other than the face frame is all just uh, particle board. So I went ahead and I took these doors off. And they don't even have a, a center here on the face frame. So I'm going to add one. I mean, this is beach, um, and I don't have any beach. All I have is pine, but I'm going to add, add a brace right here on both of them. And then for the sides, I'm going to add some you know, some uh, eighth inch plywood. Um, that'll help stiffen it up a little bit. And when I attach these two cabinets together against the wall here, I'm probably gonna add some bracing between them to help shore it up as well. So, and I'm building a, a frame to connect both of the cabinets together on the back side. So by the time I get these installed, they'll be pretty stiffened up 
so I don't have any uh, issues with that. And then on the top, um, I'll have a uh, three-quarter inch um, countertop that'll span both of them, and that'll also stiffen it up. Um, and there's not going to be any weight um, on the cabinets once they're mounted on the wall um, because the TV will be mounted here. So I don't think there'll be any problems, but I'm going to stiffen it up anyway. So let me get to that. All right, I measured a couple of braces 15 inches long, which is uh, perfect for this spot. And I uh, used some tight bond glue, clamped it in place, and then tacked it with a couple of uh, brad nails. And the brad nails go into the brace about half an inch. So I don't need these clamps anymore. All right, I've got both center braces installed now. And uh, I guess they're, that would be called a center style. Um, but uh, those are installed. Um, it's only been a couple of minutes, so I'm going to give it probably, I don't know, 20 minutes or so for the glue to dry up enough that I can sand off any residual glue. And then I'll give this a coat of primer. And once that dries, I'll give it a couple coats of paint. And uh, I'm only going to be painting the face frame right now because the bottom you're not going to be able to see because of how low it will be to the floor and the top you won't see because uh, it'll be covered with the countertop the center section you won't be able to see and I'm going to cover the outside with plywood all right I've got my drip cloth down and uh, this is all the glue's all dried and I've sanded it a couple of times and I'm ready to give it a primer coat so let me get started with that. All right, I've got my boards cut so I can do the frame for the back of the cabinets. And this will go up against the wall and then I'll attach the cabinets to this. So let me build this back frame and uh, we'll get that attached to the wall and then I'll be able to hang the cabinets. All right, I've got that back frame built. And um, what I did was I attached it to a stud right here and then I got my level and made sure that it was level before I attached it there. And um, I'll go ahead and uh, attach it in the other, into the other two studs on the top, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to attach the bottom yet um, because I want to make sure that it's square and it's pretty close to square right now, but it's out just a touch. So I'm going to need to take the bottom and move it to the left just slightly in order to get it to, or move it to the right just slightly in order to get it nice and square. And then once I do that, then I'll attach the bottom rail to the studs. And then once I get that in place, I'll be able to a uh, clamp just a board to the bottom and I can use that to set the uh, cabinet on and then I can attach it to the back frame. Then once I get that there, um, next step would be to get the uh, countertop installed on top of the cabinets and then I can go up from there with the shiplap. And I've got that uh, plug um, wrapped because I'm going to leave an opening there so that I can access it for the TV and um, I'll route I'll cut around uh, with the ship lap and then I'll route a nice edge around that so it'll look nice when I'm done you won't be able to see it anyway it'll be behind the TV but that's where I am so far so let me get back to work okay on this end it's not quite level it's pretty close, but you could use a minor adjustment. And I don't have enough hands to lift this up, pre-drill for the screw to attach to the stud, and then screw the stud in. So what I'm gonna do, is I've got this piece here, and I'm just going to tap it until I 
get level. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach to the stud right there, in fact, and then I'll go check the other side. All right, this side's pretty level, so I don't need to make any adjustments. So I'll just go ahead and pre-drill and attach this to the stud. Now I can check it for square now that the top's all attached and then once I get that square I'll go ahead and attach it along the bottom. All right, I framed around the uh, electrical and the cable down inside here and now I'm going to use my flush router bit to uh, router out around the inside of that frame. I drilled a small pilot hole that I'll use as a reference. So let me go ahead and get to that. All right, I got both of the cabinets painted and mounted on the wall. I got the uh, electrical and the cable uh, boxes, uh, access to those uh, with, the, uh, with the flush trim router bit. And I'll do the same thing up there with uh, that electrical outlet once I get the uh, shiplap up. But um, now, next step would be to um, install the countertop on top of the cabinets. And then I'll come in here and I'll install uh, my uh, quarter inch plywood um, to cover up uh, the framing and the uh, the particle board and I'll do that on both sides and then I'll be able to start taking the ship lap up the wall um, but that's as far as I'm gonna get today so I'll wrap this up and uh, I'll talk to you guys later